All right, so today, let's talk about the, uh, um, uh, the inverted yaw spin, like, like this, or, or as, uh, Carlos likes to call it, inverted yaw spin, or 360 yaw spin. Ow. Oh. So, inverted yaw spins, it's where you go upside down and yaw spin, as the name might suggest. But I think that's one of the more requested tricks for, for me to cover in, in one of my tutorial vlogs. Which I guess is interesting because that's definitely not the type of trick that I'm known for. I suppose I don't do the trick too often because uh, for me it's, it's one that doesn't seem to naturally fit into uh, flowy lines. Um, I mean, I do do them to just don't end up in my videos because if I'm gonna do an inverted yaw spin, I'm usually out in a more open area and I just punch up and bang one out and it's fun, but uh, it doesn't really fit um, what I shoot for for videos. So this is the park where I actually did my first trick tutorial in a vlog. Um, I came here and did a tutorial on the Matty Flip and the reason that I did that as my uh, first tutorial was because it was a trick that even though I did it often it definitely wasn't natural to me and every time I did it I had to really put some thought into it and they weren't, I don't think they were the best at the time and something that I didn't expect was that after doing that, that vlog, after trying to explain it and teach someone else how to do it, my own Matty Flips got a lot better. So, for that reason, I'm actually very excited to try to explore the inverted yaw spin because like I said, it's not something that I typically work into my standard flight routines. So, I'm hoping that by kind of like digging into it and forcing myself to think more about that trick and uh, how to make it interesting and things like that, uh, maybe I can overcome a barrier myself and hopefully along the way help some some people get introduced to that trick. Um, so I'm excited. All right, so we're gonna be revisiting something we've talked about a lot in, in any time I explain stuff, which is how your camera angle affects how roll and jaw are mixed. So let's just try to flatten out totally. And we'll see how the horizon and below makes up, we'll call that 20% of the screen. When we're flat like this, if we give just yaw, we spin around perfectly even. But if we uh, are tilted forward because we're flying forward and we give yaw, oh, we end up looking upward. And depending on the trick that you are trying to do, maybe that's what you want. Maybe as you pass through, you want to end up looking up. So you can do something like that. But if you want to do flat, if you want to do a flat spin while you're flying forward, what you're going to need to do is also mix in some roll. So as I go through, I'm going to mix in roll and yaw together. And that gave me a more flat spin as I, uh, as I went through the gap there. One more time. Maybe I went a little too heavy on the roll. But the same thing applies to an inverted yaw spin. So let's get some height. I'm gonna try and be perfectly flat here. So I should be perfectly flat. Roll over. Now it's the opposite. Now the sky is making up about 20% of the screen. So let's do that again and do just yaw. So we should be perfectly flat. Flip over. And now just giving yaw, I get a flat yaw spin. But if I'm flying forward and I go for an inverted yaw spin and I just flip upside down, now my spin gets all disorienting. So what we need to think about is depending how you want your inverted yaw spin to look, you either need to uh, coordinate or cross coordinate your roll and yaw so that when you end up upside down, you're flat. And see, I didn't even do it there. But an even better option is when doing the inverted yaw spin, also mix roll just like we did when upright. So let me get some real altitude for this one. We're tilted forward, roll, and there we go. I mix roll and yaw together. I guess what I would say is practice getting some altitude. 
and playing with different levels of mixing. That, that was pretty flat there. It took me a minute to lock into that perfect mix. But just play with different levels of mixing, roll and yaw to find the, uh, the look that you are, that you're going for. And I, I wouldn't say that there's a right or wrong way to do this. You don't have to have your spins look flat. You can go through and kind of have a stylized thing like that, or maybe you really want to perfect that perfect flat pass. But it's about playing with, uh, just about playing with the mix of roll and yaw and finding, finding the right amount of mixing for exactly what you want to accomplish. So what I want to work on is taking all this and trying to actually, rather than just doing it in like the open air, working so that I could do it through a gap. And then eventually make it even part of like a, like a whole routine, like a whole flow. You know, go from one trick right into an inverted yaw spin. So I'm playing with that here. And we are gonna die. I hate this trick. Turtle mode. Oh man, it even flew back. All right, let's give a quick inspection. Ah, eh, just a dirty camera lens. All right, I'm thinking what might work best for me is to go into an inverted yaw spin out of like a half power loop. So the gap between those two trees right ahead of us might work nicely for this. Let me just turn around. Just give it a half power loop, yaw spin. Oh gosh. Woo -hoo. Struggle street, man. Let's try that again. Let's try a little bit more. That, that was almost something, it just was really sloppy. Actually, I think I'm pretty happy with that right there. Hello tree, hello tree, hello tree. A little bit too in the zone there. Seems fine still. So I guess just to uh, recap what I was talking about, about camera angle, and I think that's the most important thing to think about is, is again just mixing, roll, and yaw. So I fly with about 30 degrees of camera angle. So you have to think about if I'm flying forward so that the horizon is even, and then give straight roll input, I'll now end up looking at the ground so when I yaw around it's gonna what do I end up looking at? Now I'm kind of looking like backward and toward the horizon, but it's gonna be it's gonna be very disorienting. So what you either want to do is if you're gonna roll and then do an inverted yaw spin, think about cross coordinating so that when you complete your half roll, you end up flat. Give your yaw spin, and that you know, would just yaw input, or you take your roll and then cross coordinate on the yaw to do it more like that. I mean, it's weird. Again, like, just play with what works for you. I mean, there's so many different looks to any trick you can do, and I think this is one that, like, really brings out how different the trick can look depending on what you want to go for. Um, and like I said, I just want to keep working on seeing if there are little ways that I can work in Inverted yaw spins or half and yawed inverse spins, half invert, blah, blah, blah. it's a mouthful. Just working in concepts that we discussed into my longer line and taking it to a point where I can work in aspects of the inverted yaw spin into my runs. All right, I'm just gonna enjoy some flying now because it's, uh, it's a nice day.
Take out, drone repairs. Mm. Quads fixed. It was no big deal. Uh, I want to end this vlog with a really quick mail time. Um, this is just a letter from Henry, uh, basically saying that he's into my vlog. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, he just got into FPV himself, and he's also an engineering student, uh, which is what he uh, was writing about. I used to work as an engineer, and yeah, I studied engineering physics, which is kind of like a hybrid between mechanical engineering electrical engineering and like uh, modern physics so like quantum mechanics and stuff like that. Um, I think engineering is a great degree to uh, get into and it just creates a lot of opportunities. Um, the other thing he's writing about is that he's trying to start a collegiate team for drone racing. It sounds like you've already got a few people together and I think that's the, the most important thing. Uh, get some people together that you can enjoy doing with and just start doing it. Try to get the team sponsored. I definitely think companies are going to be excited about collegiate drone racing. Uh, that is awesome. Get whatever quads together you can. Uh, practice, go out and fly for fun, set up races for you guys to compete against yourselves and see if uh, see if you can come to some of the uh, collegiate races that they're having. But yeah, thanks for writing. It's awesome to hear from uh, a fellow engineer getting into FPV. I think FPV has had such a positive impact on my life, so love hearing about new people getting into it. Um, and I love getting to share this stuff and help new people get into it, which is why Thematically, I love doing videos like this. So fun. So whenever I have time, love doing these kind of like instructional things. So uh, I hope it was helpful. Like I said at the beginning, this is not a trick that I would consider myself super proficient with, especially in terms of like working in an aligned. So uh, it's something I want to improve. I'm excited to keep uh, keep working on it. Anyways, let me know what the next tutorial ask video is that you'd like to see. Um, Got a few things coming up, so I don't know when I'll be able to get to it, but hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start editing this video and, and go to bed. Bye.